And good morning world, it is 11am in the morning, it is Monday the 30th of November 2015. And this is my Monday sermon, because I was going to do a Sunday sermon, but uh, wind, rain, travel plans all got in my way, and I wasn't able to do it. I will be posting later today a video on the week ahead, and I will also be posting later today the sunshine forecasts for the next month, as well as summarising the year for all the different signs of a zodiac. So it's going to be a big YouTube day later today. Watch this space. But at the moment, the moon is in early Leo. And um, I'm afraid this video is primarily about the ongoing conflict against Islamic State and various political stances against it. And it's primarily centred around the UK. Although, I do notice at the moment that the World Climate Change Conference is happening. There are very optimistic sounds coming out of it. And, you know, me, I'm an optimist. But um, I still think it'll be a talking shop. They're just not prepared to sacrifice e short-term economic pro profit for the sake of their grandchildren's future. And that's why I still remain ultimately quite pessimistic about the long-term viability and future of humanity in its current status without genetic modification because the climate and the environment is changing so damn fast that uh, they're not going to change it. They're not going to give up fossil fuels. People aren't going to give up their cars in order to guarantee their grandchildren's future. So I do wonder at the long-term viability of the human race. Anyway... My current concern is what's happening in my country at the moment. The current leader of the current Prime Minister, David Cameron, is trying very, very hard to get a majority in the Parliament. Even though he has a huge majority in his own, with his own party, he's, he's struggling to get enough votes to pass a resolution to bomb Syria. Now, a year ago, he tried to get a resolution to bomb Syria, to bomb Assad and he failed. Now he's trying to get a resolution to bomb Assad's opponents. Hopefully he will fail. I hear all the people say we've got to stop these terrorists, but this is David Cameron's Tony Blair moment. Many of you may remember that years ago Tony Blair, hand in hand with George Bush, probably praying with him, we don't know, but we believe so, and um, Blair was influenced by the right-wing American hawks, and despite, despite almost nearly 10% of the entire population of this country going on a single march in London, despite 3 million people going on a march to oppose the war in Iraq, Blair deliberately chose to take us to Iraq. And Blair is now remembered, despite all the good things that his government did, Blair is remembered solely as a liar, because he lied. And he used false information to justify us going to war, just to keep in with his American bosses. And um, now Cameron is the same. This time not in kowtow to the American uh, right-wing military machine because that's not the way it is anymore in America. I really don't get why Americans seem to have a sort of spectator sport of, of really hating their president, regardless of um, um, what political party he's in, he is, because it just seems that it's, it's, they just do. Uh, I find that most interesting. Blair, uh, Blair's, this is Cameron's Blair moment. And Cameron's chart, very similar to Vladimir Putin's in many ways. Uh, Cameron, what is he, 9th of, December, 9th of October 1966, he's got the sun at 15 degrees of Libra. Putin has the sun at 13 degrees of Libra. Mars is currently now at 10 degrees of Libra and about to pass both on Putin's sun and Cameron's sun in the next eight or nine days. And if Cameron were to call for a vote now and be defeated, which is probably going to happen, because despite all the politicians wanting to go to war, the public do not want to see yet more bombs. The, 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 the official spin is that if we drop bombs on the terrorists, then we will stop them coming to Britain and creating further terrorism acts. No, it won't. The only way to stop this is to go to the core. And the core is alienating people because of religion and continually sending guns and arms to illicit corrupt regimes outside of Europe. Stop the arms trade. That will sort out the terrorists. But no, 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 can't do that because that will hit our profits and put people out of work. 
once again we're saying to the same route as why climate change isn't going to get sorted out because it's not profitable profit once again Cameron is approaching his Blair moment Cameron will find out within a week and a half and, and, and as, a, as a few of you have reminded me recently I've been predicting that December 2015 will be Cameron's moment one way or another I'll be fascinated to see if David Cameron is still leader of the Conservative Party at the end of this month. It's not just Syria. It's not just climate change. There's also growing evidence of, uh, of uh, bullying being endemic in the Conservative Party, with people being fired, people resigning, people killing themselves because of the bullying. Yet no one's prepared to take responsibility. All the people are trying to stop, uh, pass the buck up. It is an endemic culture of bullying that is what is wrong with the political system in this country. And the politicians are completely and utterly out of touch with the feel of the people. Despite all the media and despite all the politicians, many of the people in this country actively support the leader of the Labour Party, Jeremy Corbyn, even though he's made out to be a left-wing loony, but they support him in his stance, saying, do not bomb the terrorists, do not bomb ISIS. Instead, why can't we send in Mossad or the SAS or, or the Green Berets? Why don't we send in specialist people just to take out the real nasty people and let the rest of it dissolve? Bombing solves nothing apart from creates more and more people willing to martyr themselves and become terrorists. Cam David Cameron's choice of action over the coming eight or nine days is going to define his long-term viability as a politician in this country. And at the moment, I'm not holding my breath. Enough on that one. That's my rant over. Later today, I'll put up a much more considered version of the week ahead. Thanks, folks. Bye.